radio. Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Take over is Psychic Wednesday. Good morning, good people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody that hears right now, you know we lit. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Are you smarter than Young Jock? We got some money for you on that. Date Dilemma, we also got some money for you on that. And we cannot forget Miss Shanika. That's right. And Jock has the biggest thing happening today. And I got the word on the streets news. Shouty's going to bring you the crazy report. Because you know how that boy goes and how he gets down. So y'all make sure y'all stick around. It's going to be a beautiful day on this hump day. Face sand. Don't kick my tail no more. Keep it locked. <laughs> Young Jack in the streets morning to take over. Young Jack in the streets morning take over brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's popping? Pop, popping. We are now live on your radio. Good morning on this Psychic Wednesday. What up, Miss Shanika? What up? Tell us about the biggest thing happening, Josh. All right, so Kevin McCarthy is ousted as House Speaker by the Republican Party. A historic moment on Capitol Hill. For the first time, members of Congress voting to remove their House Speaker. The move coming less than a day after firebrand Republican Representative Matt Gates filed a resolution to oust his party's leader after months of grievances against McCarthy. Wow. Yes. First time in history. <clears throat> Never seen it happen. Uh-uh. And then they took a week off instead of picking a new speaker. Well, I mean, you, you probably can't just throw nobody in there right away. Yeah, can't. Well, it don't work like that. Well, we need to see because... Well, well you know, said, Nancy's trying to come back. And they said that a vote to elect the new speaker uh, really wasn't expected until, like, <laughs> next week anyway. Yeah, because they I took don't a nobody off. want you. Well, <laughs> well this is this the deal right here. He actually averted the government shutdown. But with by him averting the shutdown, the Republicans wasn't happy with that, so they ousted him. Well, and, and, and Democrats didn't have his back either. Of course they did, but nobody wants you. What are you to do? We're reporting on this, but you know, it's some whole other politics in the play. Yeah, I mean, There's some stuff that we have no clue about going on. Yes, he's on the witch hunt for uh, Trump. Also, he, you know, he tried to impeach uh, Biden last week. Yeah, that was I already had pissed him off. Yeah, and they've been having grievances all year. So hey, that's how it goes. All right, Miss Shawnee, what we got coming up next? Well, you know, shouty, shouty, got the funniest thing out there, that crazy report on the way. And Bonnie Banks is going to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. That's right. So make sure you stick around for more. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. That's right. Thank you for joining us as Bunny Banks takes you around the streets in 90 seconds. All right. We got to get into some government news. Donald Trump hit with a gag order after lashing out at court clerk in the New York broadcast. Whoa. Judge banning the former president from posting about court staff members on social media. That gag order of sorts comes after a disparaging post from Trump about the judge's clerk. Former accountant who worked on Trump's business and family finances for years was called to the witness stand today. Trump's defense team objected to documents produced prior to February 2016, citing the statute of limitations. But the judge allowed all the documents. The former president says he will testify at the appropriate time. Okay, we're going to keep you guys in the loop as that court case is continuing to go mm. on. Here's some quick updates on government headlines as well. According to the police, the congressman's office, a congressman from Texas was carjacked by gunpoint in Washington about a mile away from the U.S. Capitol. So there's been a lot of actually what? carjackings going on in D.C. and they're trying to avert that situation. Also, Hunter Biden has pled not guilty to three federal gun charges that have been filed. 
In Atlanta, the city council passes affordable housing and security camera bill. Starting next year, all new construction, 10,000 square feet or more, must install a security camera system. This new ordinance, authored by Councilwoman Keisha Sean Waits, was written to address recent car break-ins around the city. For the 140 citizens and individuals who had their vehicles broken into, for folks who have experienced this all over the city, who live in multifamily housing or apartment complexes, there is help on the way. Hopefully that will lower the number of car ja- um, car break-ins as well. Now, if you hear a screeching alert go off on your cell phone today at 2.20 p.m., do not panic. They are apparently doing some effective means of a warning public about emergencies and trying to make sure that your phone is okay. Even though it sounds like it might be um, uh, a scam. Like, they might be using your phone for your information. <laughs> but that's Around the Streets in 90 Seconds. I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. You guys can follow me, T-H-E-E-V, Bonnie Banks. Shawty Shawty with the Crazy Report coming up next. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The Crazy Report is on right now. Shawty Shawty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do, man. That's what we got to run down to Paris and see what's going on. Right before Fashion Week, they have been infested with bed bugs. French officials say that bed bugs have infested Paris's transport networks and the wider city. The race is now on to exterminate the bugs with less than a year to go until the Olympics. Yes, the bed bugs are everywhere. They're in theaters. They're um, on the airplanes. They are every single where. It is all every over. Single where? Yeah, every single where. And we talk to the bed bugs <laughs> and get what the bed bugs said. What? We ain't in the bed no more. We outside. And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. Hey, man, that's Charlie what my name is with the Crazy Report. Follow me on Instagram at Charlie the Comedian. these national days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, this is a good day. This is a good one right here. It's a good Today one. Today is National Cinnamon Roll Day. Let it roll. Mm, roll, roll, Shout roll, out to roll, the Cinnabons. So I think I heard they used to call you Cinnamon Roll in high school. Thank you. Okay, all right. They ain't never what uh, the hell you <laughs> National Cop Day. Never that. It's also National Coffee with the Cop Day. So it's all Cop right. Day and National Coffee right. with the Cop Day. Shout, Shout out, out to, to all the, the police. To the policemen. Yes. The police I don't think they up. like to be called cops. I don't either. Like, it is what it is, right? I know, well, but but we need them in a lot of situations. If yeah. you see a cop, cop him a cup of coffee. Now, call him Officer Friendly. Hey, Officer Friendly. Today is National Truckers Appreciation Day. Yeah. So mm-hmm. tell the truckers to hunk their horns if they're listening. No, yeah. don't do not do that. I still do that. Hunk if your horns. Somebody horn. honk their horns. I, I stayed doing that as a It kid. really pissed me off. I like, do. When people I do honk right their now. horns. Like, why do y'all honk y'all honk? Because I be sitting right there holding my hand up, doing going up and down as a 40 year old. Yes, you yeah. love that. I used to love it. I used yes. to love doing it. All the time. Mm-hmm. All right, so look, we got to get into these celebrity birthdays. All right, it's still Libra season. You know they lit. You know, I know it's it's. It's unfortunate that you guys come after Virgo, but it's okay because uh, God bless you. You made it. Can I see the names a little bit? Uh, happy birthday to the boy Derek Rose. Okay. Happy birthday, little mama. Russell Simmons and our very own rich homie Quan. Hey, me. so get your name on the birthday list. It's really simple. one 844 yungjoc because local birthdays matter, good people. That's right. Again, the number's 1-844-986-4562. Can't wait to hear from you to get your name on the birthday song. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to our local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I heard it's your birthday. That's right. Turn me up, turn me up. Okay, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Tell me where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Oh, man, where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Yeah, where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Hey, hey, Shane Bacon. It's your birthday. Hey, Meredith Pope. It's your birthday. Hey, Morgan Carpenter. It's your birthday. Yo, yo, John West. It's your birthday. Okay, hey, Hardy Lawrence. It's your birthday. Hey Morgan Carpenter, it's your birthday. what's up, J. Webb? It's your birthday. And Addie Hicks, let's go, Charlie. It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's a psychic Wednesday. Yeah, we up, we lit. Miss yeah. Shanika, what up? How are you? What up? I'm great. That's good. How you feeling, Charlie? Bless. 
I like this something you got going on today, Miss Shanika. Appreciate it. Uh, it's dinner. Yeah. That's right. Now, guess what? What? Michael Jordan. Yeah. We already know he's rich. He's that guy, legendary, legend, living legend, icon, and all that. But he is now considered one of the wealthiest 400 people in America. Michael Jordan is officially the first athlete to rank among the wealthiest people in the United States. Basketball legend has cracked the Forbes 400 with a net worth of $3 billion. Comes after he sold his majority stake in the Hornets over the summer on top of his massive royalty deals with Nike and brands like Hanes and Gatorade. The cutoff net worth to make the list this year was $2.99 billion, tied for the Ooh. highest ever. Wow. Big old chicks. Well... I'm just sitting here like, it's crazy. I didn't think he could get no richer. He's still Three billion. Shoes. I mean, of course. I mean, we know Mike got a bag, but when they step back and tell you this person has a billion, it's a different type of world they got to live in, man, when people are always announcing your net worth and what kind of money you got, the latest deals. Yeah, it's going to be okay, Michelle. We're going to get that one day, all right? I know that's right. I'm trying to. What you got coming up? Well, we got to talk about Beyonce's tour, because guess what? What? She got another B in her name. Don't even worry about it. Also, man, it ain't looking good for Soldier Boy. It sounds like he's going to have to give up some of these cars, says a judge. And Scrappy is trying to figure out how Jack and Kurt is still married. And he got a divorce. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Ladies and gentlemen, word, word on the streets, she be bopping, I need more. Yeah. Word on the streets, screaming by like on a moped. Word on the streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets, going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right, you know what it is? It is. A beautiful Wednesday wow. morning. Are you, are you okay? Uh, I'm trying to be. <laughs> Going through some apparently. I see. All righty then. Let's get into this. Beyonce. She has closed out the Renaissance Tour. Guess how much she brought in? Yes. More than $579 million. That is more than half a billion dollars during wow. her 56 stop tour that began in May, according to Live Nation. So, between the tour that went on sale, it generated about $275 million and $428 million in ticket revenue alone. So, congratulations to Beyonce. And you know she's going to be coming out in theaters very soon in the AMC theaters, so be on the lookout for that. Meanwhile, a judge has signed off on Soldier Boy. Yep, his ex-girlfriend said that she was awarded the money. And guess what happened? What? She go get her money. Yes, he owes her a $500,000 debt. The judge has granted Kayla Myers a motion allowing her to access... <laughs> All that man money, his valuables, his exotic vehicles, pricey jewelry, all that to satisfy this 500K Shut up. and heavy. judgment. Yeah, man. So he, so if he come on the ground with a big chain on, she can get the orders. She can get the orders to get the lawyers to go get it. Yes. Hide your stuff, soldier. If he driving the Lambo, she could be like, if it's in his name, I want it. All that, la all of that stuff. He has to. Uh, it's gonna be seized wow. to satisfy this debt. From oh. his collection, she may take her pick from a yellow Bentley, a red Lamborghini, a wow. Dodge Charger Hellcat, or a yellow Mercedes Benz to satisfy his debt. She may even get to snatch his beloved Soldier Boy chain worth ten k. You. Only worth ten k. Boy, it's hell out here on these streets. Yes, it <laughs> is. Don't get caught up out here slipping. Them people say you need to show up to court. Go to court. Go to court. Please, fight the case, y'all. Defend yourself. Yes, don't just let it slide because you're going to have to pay. All right, don't, don't talk this time out because we got to see what Scrappy talking about, child. He trying to figure out why he got a divorce and his cousin Jack and <laughs> his <laughs> other cousin, Kurt, Man. is still married. Man. I want to still be married right now. Well, I know the thing. I'm trying to figure out how Kurt. I, I'm sorry, Kurt. I always throw you under the bus, but I got to do it. Jock, you too. I don't see how them two fuck up the way they 
fucked up and like they still with their people. What was it like being married to Bambi? I felt like I was dealing with a narcissistic person. Mm. It's a narcissistic person, first and foremost. Um, scrappy. So My we, boy, we, just, he just ain't used that word a lot. Oh, look at you still taking up for him, but he threw <laughs> you he under should. the bus. He <laughs> said, after you did all the things that you did. I didn't, I didn't do a you lot know, of things. You know, because it's your show, they didn't let it play all the way out. They saved you. It's worse. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. So do you want to comment? No. <laughs> that is the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shadika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shadika and follow us at Streets Word and Takeover. Oh my God. Like y'all Your really cousin. Man, y'all crazy. Hey man. Coming up, man. It's Psychic <laughs> Wednesdays. I'm no psychic. But something tells me me and Scrappy gonna have to have a talk after okay. the show. Okay. Mm, what you do? I need to mediate this time. <laughs> I'm no psychic. <laughs> Or referee. <laughs> We're going to need boxing gloves. Keep it locked. <laughs> Young Jack in the streets want to take over. You know. That's right. We lit with it. Yep. It's a psychic Wednesday, man. Mm -hmm. Young Jack, Miss Shanika, and Shouty. Shouty. Yep. All right, Shouty. Yes. I am no psychic. Mm -hmm. But something tells me. If you were to park your car on the street one more day, they were going to put that boot on there and we're going to take out until you pay that $3,000 fine. Wow. I ain't no psychic. But if it was $3,000 fine needed to be paid, you would have to pay it because I got the car from you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sonic. Mm -hmm. I ain't no psychic, but every time you walk past a crowd of people, they start laughing. Why? Why they laugh? Cause she got hot dogs on the back of her neck like you do. <laughs> look at buddy, she actually looking. She trying to <laughs> you ain't got one for him, Miss that nigga. No, no, you just ain't with it. Today. I can just video him and post it. Oh my god, with no words. Y'all gotta call us up. It's Psychic Wednesday, man. It's somebody right now in their car who need to call us. It's somebody sitting at their cubicle right now and they mad because they co-work over there eating breakfast and then bring them none. Y'all yep. call us up. We want to talk to you. If somebody put some roach spray down and them roaches were still there this morning, it happens. One eight four four Y U N G J O C. That number's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Call us up. At Yo, Jack in the streets morning. Take over. What's your name? Who you want to shout out this morning? Michelle, and I'm calling from Duluth. 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 Duluth yeah, is on Duluth. fire. Who you want to shout out this Bird. morning? I want to shout out my mom, Jean, and my daughter, Ashley Jean. Thank you for your call. Yo, Jack in the streets morning. Take over. What's your name? Angel. When your birthday? <laughs> November 28th. Okay. So I ain't no, that means you're a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. Yep. Big Sagittarius. Big Sagittarius. Okay, I'm no psychic, but some tell me you big. I am. Okay, okay. So yep. big Sagittarius energy working. <laughs> I ain't no big psychic. Big fine now. Big fine. Okay. No, I hear it. I hear it in, in the... I hear it in the back of your throat. I'm no psychic, but something tells me that you be getting in an argument with the Chinese man down at the uh, beauty supply store. I do. I know it. He done tried to tell you that foundation don't matter. I ain't no psychic, but something tells me that you be going in the grocery store trying to buy hot food with food stamps. No. <laughs> no, I can hear her. That might be off this money. morning. No, you're not off. One time I did switch the tag, you know, and put the cold still. You that, did. At that time, you had to go down there to pre-trial and, and burn yourself <laughs> out with a signature <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> we just be lit. I mean, it's just okay. Don't worry. Uh, Miss Shanika, mm -hmm. I have something for you. What? Why you gotta make look, man? We some lotion some for that lotion energy. For that ash ass energy. No, Jeez. so what you guys are doing right now is gaslighting me. Oh, really? Are we? Yes, y'all are. How so? You being manipulative too. Because y'all, you know that you go try to say something about me. Shawty just said I had um, uh, rolls in the back of my neck like you. I didn't say that. Then he said people laugh when I walk by. <laughs> so you definitely was about to say something <laughs> about me. I so was. then when I comply with the attitude, when I reply with one, then you say it's my ashy energy when you was already going to talk crap about me. And I, people, I never said I'm not doing this with y'all. That is the meaning of gaslighting. Talk to this hand. Ooh, you, you should see what she just flipped up, y'all. Miss Shanika. And everybody else have a welcome, wonderful Wednesday. Welcome to the newest segment of our show. What? Ashy Energy. <laughs> <laughs> 
time for the day dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's the day dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Byron. Byron, how you doing, family? What's up? Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I just got to talk to y'all about my girl, man. My girl tripping on me. Well, you ain't doing good. <laughs> Man. Talk to me. Okay, so she she's tripping about like I don't I don't go all out for her. Like I, I love going all out for her. That's just my love language and everything. But she she tripping. She feel like I don't do the same for my mom or, or my son or anything like that. But I, I make sure they straight. And, but but she she feel like I don't do enough for them. Okay, have y'all broken up? Y'all just not seeing eye to eye. What's the she had, and she had and like respond to me and, and she just had no weird and everything like that. I, I, I don't. I, Do you I, feel I, like she's I, using this as an excuse to get away from you? To sever ties? I, I feel, I, I feel like it, yeah. Okay. I'm sitting here looking at Miss Shanika like, I wonder why you're making that face. Okay, yeah. so you, you want her back, I'm sure. Yeah, I want her, yeah, I want her back. She, she a real down earth girl and everything like that. I, I don't, don't want to lose her like that. I know that feeling. I don't ever have no information on what they did. I feel like these people be knowing what had happened. Just choose not to say, well, he exactly. kind of said what she, what she feels like. He does more for her by way of his love language than I he mean, does for somebody. I mean, I don't know. I would like to hear what she has to say. Would you like for us to call her now? Yeah. What's her name? Name name's Carla. Carla. All right, let's see if we can get Carla on the phone. What's your name one more time, Brody? Name Byron, man. Byron. All right, Byron, we're going to attempt to get Carla on the line and see if we can get things right with y'all. Um, Just know there's nothing guaranteed, all right? All right. Put your phone on hold and we'll tell you when it's time to talk. All right. Either he's giving her too much attention, meaning like he's smothering her, and she feel like he's not spending enough time with those other important people in his life as well. Okay. Because I've seen that. If a woman just dedicate all her time to him, like, baby, you don't spend no time with your people? Nah, that's about you. Mm-hmm. It'll make me feel some kind of way, you know? Yeah, but some people like that, like Sean. <laughs> Hello. Hey, good morning. May I speak with Carla, please? This is she. Who is this? Hey, Carl. I know you're probably trying to figure out what's going on. You're on the phone with Young Jock, Miss Shanika, and Shouta Shouta with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Take Over, a nationally syndicated morning show. And we need to talk to you this morning because we got a segment on the show by the name of Date Dilemma. And we think you're having a date dilemma right now as we speak. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> so, what's going on? Uh oh. Something tells me you know what's going on. All right. Are you familiar with Byron? Yes. All right, Byron called us up and he told us y'all were dealing with some issues. He kind of gave us, it was very vague. Exactly. How are you feeling about this man right now? So, you know, like memes on social media, he is the definition of love, love bombing. Like, he buys me so much stuff, but he has kids, he has a mother that's still living, and I feel like I get more gifts than his family. Now, don't get me wrong, I love nice gifts, cars, bags. But you have two kids, you have a child mother, you know, and I am a single mom. And I feel like, you know, you should do more for your kids than you do for your girlfriend. And it just don't sit well with me. So, Like, give us, give us an example. What's doing more? So, for my birthday, you buy me a car. Hmm? But a for car? your kid's birthday, you don't even go have on the party with your child's mother. That's crazy. No, nah, that's, that's, that's wrong. Give us another so, example. Um... This year for Mother's Day, I wanted to do a Mother's Day brunch for me and my friends. He paid for everybody. But for his baby mom, he mm-hmm. got her a car and, like, chocolates. He got her chocolates? I mean, some people don't do nothing. Yeah, that sounds like Valentine's Day. Chocolates. Mm-hmm, okay. But I, I get what you're saying, so you have a problem with that. Yes, I feel like one day it's going to it's gonna run out, and he's not going to be the same person that I met. But what he don't know, one so- of those bags that he bought me. I punned it, and I gave the money to his baby mom. What? It was like a love gift. She don't know where it came from, but I just felt so bad. Okay, so he's love by me. I mean, is the love coming with it? Because he's a, he's a really great guy. I just want him to do more for his kids. Oh, okay, so you feel like taking you out of the equation would equate for more being done to his his obligation? Yes. Unless he moves on and does it to someone else. I mean, you know that's going to happen. Can he afford to I pay his kids. bills after he buy you stuff? Yeah, is he struggling? He can. He oh, can. okay. Well, I mean, people hey, you can love. do what they want to with their money. I mean, but kids. Because, I mean, you ain't say the kids were starving. You just said, I mean, some kids like to eat chicken nuggets and pizza. I mean, I just know that I'm a single mother. Mm-hmm. And I struggle with trying to get um, my child's father to provide. And I just see, like, another case of, like, it's heading in that direction. Um, mm. Well, I'm going to let it be known. Oh, man, your boy Byron on the phone. Uh-oh. Byron, yo, there you go. Your lady on the phone, man. Well, yeah. Carla, yes, 
Tell, tell me what's wrong, man. What, like, 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 what's going on? Just talk to me. Just I just feel me. like you do a lot for me, but not yeah. a lot for your kids. It's like the minimum requirement, and I, I think mean, you should do more. I always make sure they straight. I always make sure they, they got clothes on their back. I always make sure they got food on their plate. And, and then it's like, I, I always make sure they're going to be straight with, with baby moms, even my mama. And, and so they're they going to be straight. So, so, so they cool, like, with me getting all these gifts and... But they're not like, oh, you're doing too much for her. They cool. They cool with that. And and, 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 and they and my bu- you know my baby mom. She'll be real blunt with me. She always real blunt with me. And she gonna always she gonna always be like, hey, it, hey, if you're doing wrong, you, you slacking, you slacking. She always like that. And, okay, and, and well, you know I was just ba- trying to look out for the kids. My baby mom, she she ain't. <laughs> She ain't the type that'll be like, and be like, oh, give, give me some money, and I'm gonna splurge on myself. She gonna, and she gonna prioritize. Every mama gonna prioritize. When you say prioritize, what do you mean? And she gonna like, and she gonna pay the bills. So, won't you tell your lady right now, bro, what you want? Because Carla's on the phone, and I, I kind of hear where she's coming from. And we can only go by what we hear, but she's there just as you're there. So, this your chance to get your girl back. Carla, only thing I want right now, I just want us to work as a team. I want, I just want to understand it as far as like. I'm trying to show you that I got you, and I, I really love give giving. That's just my love language. I, I ain't trying to like love bomb you. And if it's too much, uh, let me know. I'll slow down on it. But that that's just me. I I don't know. It don't sound like she going bad right there. It, it's no chance of reconciliation. Carl, I want to apologize. Maybe I overreacted. Oh. So I am willing to communicate better in the future. Oh. Okay. My boy got on the phone this morning with that smooth voice and really talked to her, got in the head. That's what I'm talking about, Byron. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to have 1-800 into the Bethune Law Firm, man. We're going to hook y'all up with $100, man. Just put the $100 where it counts, man. And uh, to our listeners, make sure y'all call us up, one eight four four Y U N G J O C And uh, keep it locked right here where you got it. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Miss Shadnika, shout out, shout out, and of yeah. course you. This date dilemma, man. I, I'm gonna just say, sometimes people are very, very, very much observant of what you do wrong, mm-hmm. opposed to what you do right. Now, in this case, Byron is calling because this girl Carla doesn't feel comfortable with all the gifts and the attention that he gives her, and he doesn't give other people the same type of time the same energy and speaking of his kids she's like well she gets me these nice designer things and he couldn't even go half on their birthday party he got her a car i'm like well well we don't even know if this man pays child support because it wasn't a question um you don't know people can do whatever they want to do with their money yeah, but I'm going to keep it 100. If I see a woman going to travel... I don't know no kid that really want to eat all these extravagant things. Most kids, like, eat two or three things if they mm-hmm. have no choice. Kids pizza. Kids cost exactly. advantageous right now. American Deli. Kids cost. Exactly. So I believe the money is coming from somewhere, but just... I no, mean... No, no, no. You gotta, I think you she gotta, was harshly judging this man. Maybe not. I've been around a woman mm-hmm. who was trying her best to win my affection my attention she was really trying to get at me and she was giving me way more attention she was tending to me way more than i seen her to her kids it's and different with I women and men that those kids weren't in his household it don't matter yes it does matter it don't matter because no. she was not being around her own household trying to be around and me. I that's what i'm saying that when it's a uh, a woman who mostly or generally nah, has see, their kids. See, no, wait, now you're not gonna let it work for for this situation, but uh, uh-uh, no. Uh-huh. Well, she didn't say he's behind on his child support. He doesn't pay his child support on time. The concerns that she had, I felt like she was overreacting. So you gonna take and that's them? That's why bags. she gave him another chance. You gonna take them bags and let somebody? In the I think they she was kids. letting her trauma from maybe her baby daddy and what her baby daddy ain't doing, aye, and, aye, aye. and mm. taking it out on this man, projecting. Young Jack is the streets more than take over. What's y'all thoughts on this day dilemma? Hey, good morning, y'all. Call a real one. female D days. A lot of them are gold diggers, and they do not give a damn if a man is going for his kids, his baby mama, his family, long as they get what they need out the meet, out the situation, they cool with it. She a real way. I like her. And I'm glad she said, okay, I might overreact just a little bit. Let's see. Because she can give them, you know, another chance, see how everything go. And if she still feel like that, then she can kick the boot. But he seemed like he's a great guy. Carlos potentially might be the man wife. 
So I'm glad she gave him another chance, but she definitely a real one for checking it. Thank you for your call. Young Jack in the streets want to take over talk about this day dilemma. I ain't feeling it, man. I feel like he is well bombing her. I feel like they in the beginning stages, and he probably did the same thing to his baby mama. I, just, I think he got his party straight. Nobody talked about the car when he bought, the, bought her the car, and then wasn't going to have on the party with his baby mama. I think that he really into her right now, and like she said, if it ain't going to be her, it's going to be somebody else. Thank you for your call. Young Jack in the streets want to take over talk about this day dilemma. He probably should stay her her lane you know as far as I'm a, I'm a mom too and at the end of the day as long as the kids are taken care of that's the responsibility if the kids are taken care of it's not for him to take care of the baby mama and a lot of women I don't know she doesn't stay in her lane she got her good man okay I'm gonna say this Miss Shanika and shout it Mm-hmm. It is so interesting when I start hearing new words and new phrases and people just got to find somewhere to use them. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's love bombing. Hold on. You mean to tell me it's a word? Y'all make it seem like it's something wrong when I love you the right way? Think about it. I show you all the love. I give you the type of love you've always wanted and you never had. And somebody comes along and say, oh, girl, he's just love bombing. Don't fall for it. What? What? I don't understand. All right. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Because y'all ain't got nothing to say because they both looking like, well, I did him too. We it. don't want to go into what your symptoms and what, <laughs> what you've been diagnosed with. I'm, I'm with you, bro. <laughs> I'm with you. Are you smarter than Young Jock, man? 1 844 <laughs> man. Call us up. We're going to see if we can hook you up with a $50 gas yeah. card. All right, all right. Hey, man, What's take up? your time and call us. Somebody got to beat me. Nobody's beat me all week. Keep it locked. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. Boy, you know what it is and how we get down. Your favorite. Checking in. That's right. Young Jack. Miss Shot Nigga. Shout out with Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. If you tuned in right now, that means God woke your ass up this morning. And it was meant for you to be in the presence of some greatness this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio with us, we have the one, the only. Hold up. Before I even get into it, let me just lay it out for you. This is a woman. This is a mother. This is a queen Libra of Libras. This is a multi-platinum artist. I'm talking about a multi-billion streamer of streamers. And she's also a superstar chef in the kitchen with the heels on. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Queen Eyes in the Building! Oh, that was, yes, that was sir. a great introduction. You need Thank to, you. Whenever they bring you, you out, they need to do it just like that or bigger. Thank you. I How you doing this morning? It. I'm doing good, but I mean, like, chef, like, dang. Hey, man. It's okay. I'll just, I, I'll take I, it. I pulled that out because I was just trying to do my little homework. I was like, oh, she whipping, whipping. I do like to whip, but I just, not all the time. My feet hurt. Oh, and then look, and then I said in the heel, in the kitchen with the heels With the heels now, yeah, that's the, that's, I be flat footed in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, no, well, I, I just want to make it sound better. It's, it's good. It Thank looked you. good. I mean, I mean, yeah. when I saw it, I was like whipping with the okay. heels on. Yeah. Okay. So, Queen Naja, you're here today. I am here. We're in the building. Thank the Lord. You know, it's interesting because like even with the intro, right? Once upon a time, we never used the word billion when it came to the amount of possibly the money or the streams or the record sales. We didn't we didn't use those terms when it came to the artistry. Times are different now. Um, I'm looking at five over 5.5 billion global career streams. Like, like I haven't even, I don't even know where my streams are at or like what I would say to my streams because they have never been tallied, I guess, in a sense from the start of my career to now. Mm-hmm. Um, what does it feel like to have these type of accolades attached to your name? I mean, it just feels really good that I, I guess, I'm going I'm to keep it real. I don't keep a tally on my streams. So when you said billion, multi-billion, I mean, I never really paid attention to it. Of course, people from my label come back and tell me like, oh, you did this and you, and you know, that's great. But um, to be honest, I don't pay attention to it. But when I hear it like that, it feels like I must be doing something right, you know, but I'm still trying to. You know, it's interesting. Elevate. You don't just get all into wrapped up into the numbers just like now. And I've also noticed that you cleaned up your IG page some and um, it just kind of looks like you hit a default button, like you're starting over or something. Mm-hmm. Is, talk, talk to me about this. What's going on Ooh. on the social side of things? Um, I am actually trying to start over. As you can see, like I, I dyed my hair, you know, I took mm-hmm. it a different color. I just wanted to like for something to symbolize like the new era of me, like because like I don't know why, but women, when they change their hair, like when they cut when they cut their hair or something, it symbolizes something. So I just wanted right. to like do something different. Um, I wanted to just like clean my page up as well right. and just um, start this new era of Queen Nyjah, like okay. trying to roll that out and everything like okay. that. Um, it's not just the music though. It's more so um, where I am like in life and stuff. It's just... 
how do you feel about the state of R&B right now? Because it's different. You got some people saying R&B is dead. Mm -hmm. You got some people, Diddy, who is not R&B at all, but he is a person who's contributed to the to the genre of R&B. He's dropping an R&B album because he's trying to say it's still alive. What's your thoughts on R&B right now? I don't think R&B is dead. I just feel like uh, a lot of the artists that really do real, real, real R&B don't get um, noticed like that. Like, I feel like they don't get as much love because it's always about who's more popular or, mm -hmm. like, who's out in the... Who got more, like, going on, who's popping more. People just... The crowd clings to who they want to cling to and whoever everybody else clings to, the rest of them gonna cling to them. Um, I guess I was just trying to find my way away from the YouTube artist mm -hmm. uh, kind of title. Mm -hmm. um, but then, like, now I realize, like, it was nothing wrong with that. That was my leverage. I, I brought that when I was signed. Like when That's I got part signed of your a little, yeah. yeah. I, I developed my own fan base. Like they seen it's the difference between just listening to an artist's music and then actually getting to like connect to them and see their everyday lives and see that we're just like the rest of everyone else. So now I'm in a transitional stage where I'm trying to get back into that and being more transparent now mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And like because I can't I can't keep just hiding. You know, I'm a storytelling artist. Man. I can't hide anymore. So I have to come back out and not be afraid again and not try to I just the hiding don't work for me. Maybe it works for more mysterious artists, but not for me. You know, mm -hmm. like when I dropped medicine, I ain't like I wasn't trying to become like no star or anything. I just did it because I loved it. Passionate and then about yeah, it. I was passionate. And then I, for a minute, I started to lose passion a little bit because now it was like, dang, now I got to chase numbers. I got to chase the number one record on the radio because <sighs> if I get a number one, then people will respect me differently. Or then maybe I'll get to perform on BT, or maybe like I'll get noticed finally. But like, and I don't want to say finally and just like go over the fans that I do have. I'm, I mean, supporters. Mm -hmm. I do have supporters, but like I'm trying to find a way. How can I like get out of this? box is it like crossing over like what is it so i guess just um me being more um involved in every aspect of my my life um music team building even at home like i'm not gonna lie i just turned down going on a tour i'm not gonna say which tour but i also want to make sure i really be involved with my kids too because like a lot of times i just be going with the flow and i want to have intention now with the supporters that you have do you feel like they could feel that indecisiveness and when it comes to you trying to feel, feel your way out and what you want to do because sometimes supporters can rock with you mm -hmm. and when you look like you just chilling they kind of chill they kinda chi some of them kind of chill or some of them get frustrated like what you doing what you doing I need more I need more my supporters they get frustrated like they're ready for me to release my um album I mean it's been I released my first album in 2020 so they're like where is the music and on that thought We'll be right back in a little bit more with Queen Naja. Keep it right here where you got it. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. We back at it. But before we get out of here with Queen Naja, man, we got a few questions. Like I said, uh, our listeners wanted to know, can we see this all take place on YouTube? And when I say all take place, this new, the, the rollout for the new album, the sophomore album, the new singles out right now, No Fake Love featuring NBA Youngboy. We want to follow you. Queen Naja, mm -hmm. the superstar on stage or out in public. It's a difference. So... I plan on getting a videographer to really follow me um, everywhere and, and like just film whatever. Me with pimples on my face, me with my, like just, just straight up. Straight up. Queen. And then like, you know, the transition of that superstar on stage kind of queen. The new single. Mm hmm No fake love. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait. What? I'm trying to see the whole. I, yeah. What's that about? I don't know. That's featuring NBA Youngboy. Yeah. Super okay. dope to work with. Um, okay. It was. You know, I could definitely sit up here and say I definitely I judged the book by its cover first. I I was I, I remember a long time ago people pulled up the video. I said someone asked me in a Q and A. They was like, "Would you ever do a song with NBA YoungBoy?" And I was like, mm, "I don't know. I'm a little scared of him." Like, <laughs> yeah, right. But um, he ended up turning out to be like very sweet and very mm -hmm. um just supportive of the record. But it's finally out, and I I just decided to go out with a banger like for the end of the summer. Although it should have lasted throughout the summer, mm -hmm. but. One of the things I love about this song is, you know, people beat me up about it all the time, but I'm sorry. I'm going to use samples. I don't care. I'm going to do a sample. Like, even the greatest from that I look up look up to, they did samples. Well, but A. Marie, first woman that I've watched on One of Six in Part, and mm -hmm. I looked at her on TV, and I was like, I want to be her. Like, I want to look like her. I want to do everything. Like, she was just like that girl to me when I was, like, growing up. So, mm -hmm. I, t I was like, I want to do a fresh record and, like, make something like 2000s, but make it more modern. So, well, that's what that song is. You know, it's interesting. Is. The New York Times, I'm going to quote them. They say that Queen Naja is the first soul star of the social media generation. Yeah. And and when you hear that and, and just hearing that, and, and that's, that could explain why you feel the way you feel about samples um, and, and, and delivering your music with that type of presence and energy because that's where your heart is. That's kind of the angle and the direction you come from. It's interesting when I see an artist who looks so fresh, so new, so now, have this soulful oh, kind of... Because you come off way more mature than you, you look. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gotta count on what I'm Are there um, wedding bells in your near future? <laughs> um, the crazy. <laughs> what did I say <laughs> like that? <laughs> I feel like it's in my future. I mean, I literally just I was talking to my man the other day. Was in a car, and I'm like, "What's next?" 
because it's like we about to we're, we already been doing business together we're probably gonna go into another business together I'm like okay we got this are y'all having these conversations yeah he said, I'm gonna marry you like but like I, he, that's his intentions but I feel like as a man you gotta respect how men sometimes wanna I do I wanna make sure I say his name right what's his first and last Clarence, name Clarence White Mr. White <laughs> we ain't got no more time to be playing Mr. White this woman out here looking real amazing <laughs> doing some real amazing things Mr. White it don't take but a bad space and a proper conversation come along and she feels something different Mr. White I'm not saying your lady will leave you Mr. White I'm just saying dear Mr. White what's up we need that engagement cause it, this, you, ain't, you ain't got no regular situation Mr. White I know when you be around something after a while it gets comfortable you start feeling like oh well you know this me I ain't, I ain't got nothing to worry about you got a lot to worry about Mr. White <laughs> Because when I said she was coming in here today to interview, a lot of people was asking, could they be in the room when she interviewed Mr. White? Oh, Lord. We respectfully declined, Mr. White. So, we I looking believe it. I'm in. waiting. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, I'm going to wait a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. And we got one more question. One more. Okay. One more. This is the last one. That's an easy one. One more. Who would you like to shoot your shot at for an R&B collaboration? I shoot your shot okay, today. Okay, okay, okay. R&B collaboration. Clever. I, 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 I started to ask it slower to really uh -huh. get you, but it got you. So, come on. Let's go with it. Got it. Me. What are we doing? Uh, who would like to shoot my shot for R&B collaboration? Um, does it have to be a person I've never spoke to Man, or somebody that I already whoever, spoke to? I don't give a damn if you want to do a song with Sade. You tell me right now. Uh, I already shot my shot and it's going to work, but like I'm going to just say Brent Fayez. That should be dope. I mean, you're yeah. dope enough artist. I think I can see that. I, yeah. I, I, I actually, past I could see that, I would like to see that. Okay. Y'all two together, I think that, that could be, be something dope. Hell yeah, Brent Hard, huh? No? Okay, that's one. Give me oh, one another more. one? Just one more. One R&B collab? It, it don't have to be R&B. Uh, it don't have to be R&B. Just a collab for the new album, possibly. I've been asking Cardi B, Cardi B for a um, record for a while now. Okay, so look, this is what I need y'all to do. But you know, you know. No, 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 no. We don't have to say nothing else. That's the name you want. We're going to put that name in the hat 10 times. We're going to put no other names in the hat. We already put out there for Brent Fires. Y'all, we're going to put Cardi B name in the hat 10 times. I need y'all to get on your social media right now and tag Cardi B. No. We, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we just heard all over the United States and the world, Craig. Uh, we want a collaboration with Cardi B, Queen Niza, going crazy. Matter of fact, let's try to make that happen before uh, Queen Niza's birthday. Big Queen Libra energy in the building. And like I said, now what you gonna say? You said you don't wanna do it? You wanna no, retract like, that? No, 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 it's fine. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just, I'm a little shy when it comes. I don't like asking for things. Mr. White! Oh, Lord. We gonna ring shopping, my boy. You got you a good one. You got you a good one. And all uh, y'all, again, I mean, y'all quit telling me to wrap it up. We ain't wrapping it up. We going all the way. Matter of fact, Queen Nigel, she hosting the whole show for today. I didn't tell y'all that, but it's happening right now. Welcome to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover, hosted by Queen <laughs> Yeah, I actually had to get that little energy, y'all, man. I appreciate you for showing up today, I'm sorry, though, for it real. was real, like, serious, like... She was looking like, wait, hold on, I got, I got some more interviews. No, it's fine. It's all good. We look, got you. Look, we need it's, some more time for next time. It's, it's love. Phone, it's love. We got to say thank you to Queen Niza. Oh, they they pulling out the studio. She got security in the lobby. Solo done walked in. Kadife done walked in. We love y'all. The new album coming. We don't even know the name of it yet, but the name of the new single, No Fake Love, featuring NBA Youngboy. Keep it locked, you got it. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Naja. I just chopped it up with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What's your name? Where you calling from? Thanks for you. Okay, Elizabeth. I'm about to turn you over to Miss Shanika because I feel like you calling because you think you're smarter than Young Jock. Hell yeah. All right. Here are the rules. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions and you cannot answer the question after your 10 seconds is up or you are going to be disqualified okay mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna start with you first elizabeth okay let's get it if you were born on christmas day what would your star sign be would it be a a capricorn b a libra c a virgo or d a libra a leo and christmas is december oh three i feel like Two. it's a leo one All right, that is incorrect. Young Jack. Yeah. If you were born on Christmas Day, what would your star sign be? A, a Capricorn, B, a Libra, C, a Virgo, or D, a Leo? I'm going with Capricorn. That is correct. I guess a Leo. <laughs> All right, Young Jack. Yeah. Which U.S. city recently experienced a state of emergency due to major flooding? Was it A, New York? B, Chicago, C, Atlanta, or D, San Antonio? Well, interesting enough, I was, I've been in Atlanta, I've, I've, I've been in Texas, yeah, I'm going with New York. Two, one. 
I've been to all the places you just named. I'm going with it. All right, that is correct. Yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah. Who was voted the 2020 Sexiest Man Alive? Is it A, Dwayne Wade, B, Michael B. Jordan, C, Chris Evans, or D, Justin Bieber? I really feel like it was Michael B. Jordan. All right, you are correct. Period. Okay, we got two to one. Who voiced the donkey in Shrek? Was it A, Kevin Hart, B, Shouty Shouty, C, Eddie Murphy, or D, Chris Rock? Mm, man, I hate to do it two of them more than, man. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, two. man. All right, that is the correct answer. Young Jock, you are the winner this morning. Yep. Therefore, you will be receiving nothing. Elizabeth. You got any <laughs> shout out? Hey, yeah. I want to give a shout out to all my people that's locked in. Free E, free Mo Bag, and that's on period. All right. Thank you for your call. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. Yeah, yeah, Only when yeah. Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. Turn off the light. Mm. The mics are on and ready to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Word, word on the streets. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Yeah, we going up on this Wednesday. What up, Shy? What up? Let's get into it. All right, so here it is. Um, Scrappy. Didn't have a lot of great things to say about his cousin, Young Jock. You don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Scrappy like and Jock funny. are related. Yes. Because I'm just, I'm really perplexed. I think Scrappy hanging around Chaotic is rubbing off on him. Uh-oh. He ain't keeping a player. He ain't sticking to the G code. Because I know Scrappy for being G's up. Yeah. Remember Keep that? G's up. Yeah. But it's, it's in chaotic. Put he him didn't in that got car older. Seat. And he didn't been hanging around chaotic, little young and wild self. And now he is out here telling your business, Jock. He ain't told my business. And, and Kirk. <laughs> and he don't even care about it. I want to still be married right now. Well, another thing. I'm trying to figure out how Kirk. I, I'm sorry, Kirk. I always throw you under the bus, but I got to do it. Jock, you too. I don't see how them two fuck up the way they up and like they still with their peoples. What was it like being married to Bambi? I felt like I was dealing with a narcissistic person. It's narcissistic, brother. Narcissistic. Narcissistic. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, oh man. Young Jack. <clears throat> he doesn't even put you out there like that. No, he didn't. He didn't put me okay, out. Okay, well, what does he mean? He wants to know why are you still able to be in your marriage and he's now divorced. And he feels like y'all were kind of doing the same thing, but you and Kurt was doing worse than him. No, I, you know what? I'm going to say this right here, okay? Mm-hmm. Exactly mm-hmm. what he's saying. Uh, Kurt had a hiccup. I had a hiccup. But that does not mean that he wasn't having his own hiccups along the way that we may not be privy to. He may have been having hiccups that she didn't even make him aware of. You kind of get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So over time, you know, you got your one-off. It's a solid one-off. I messed up. Kurt messed up. But we don't know how much Scrappy was messing up along the way the whole time. You see what I'm saying? So he wanted to be, but he's not anymore. So with that being said, we'll just pray that he continues to find love wherever he finds love. All right. Well, that thank you for that. of you. All right. All right. Because you saying right now he just need a hood. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everybody did it but him. And- okay. Moving right along, let's talk about this. Of course, Diddy released a statement saying that Young Miami will be a billionaire like Oprah Winfrey. The endless possibilities that she has as far as her clothing line, television shows, performance, live podcasts. And so Young Miami, she reposted it and said, hey, I had to repost this again because, yeah, Puff, he knows my potential and he is going to push me there. All right, seemed like he got her back. All right, and yeah, let's like get into this right here. Um, it seems that for people that haven't heard about um, Jackie O, who was 
the late baby's mother and girlfriend of Wild and Out star, DC. All right. Well, in her death, it has been um, announced that the doctor will not face criminal probe in this cosmetic surgery death. Mm. So they're saying that, you know, she passed away as a result of complications, but the complications didn't happen and that they did aid her. I guess she was under the care of a nurse Mm -hmm. and a family member. So basically there was no malpractice. Exactly. So Mm -hmm. that's what they're trying to say in this case officially. And last night, the BET Hip Hop Awards. Yes, it was filmed in Atlanta. Of course, there were, I mean, Sukiyana was cute on the red carpet last night. Koyla Ray. Um, you guys can catch a lot of these pictures by going to our Streets Morning Takeover page. Let's see, uh, who else? Uh, the baby showed up. I mean, all y'all faves. Now, I didn't see Krishan. Uh, singing Krishan Jr. on the red carpet or Blueface. Somebody told me they saw the baby on the, They said somebody was interviewing the baby. The baby? What? The baby? Krishan, baby. What? what? By itself? What the baby Krishan has Jr. said? They didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say we got to wait till it comes out. But the baby did walk on the red carpet. But by the baby itself. was on the, by itself. All right. Glorilla <laughs> paid homage to Left Eye. Of course, we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop. And it seems that Ari, yes, Ari wore the same dress that Young Miami had on when she interviewed her on Carisha Please. Wow. Now, some people are saying that that is like weird. Some people are saying that it's tacky. Then they tried to do like a who's who, who dressed the best kind of situation on uh, the shade room. You guys can go to our. <laughs> address at the street sporting takeover and see who you think wore it best but i'm not going to buy the outfit that my friend or somebody that interviewed me in i would have definitely changed it and it was enough time Which, for that change to happen she probably probably the same dress no yes yeah, they, they are definitely dress. two different sizes carisha <laughs> and ari is, oh yeah one okay. is very sl- slim and one is slim. Thick it, thick, thick. All right. That is the word on the streets news. I'm Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover and check out all these stories. Now, the what we got from Jock was exclusive. So thank you for that. And the word on the streets news is being brought to you by Bader Scott Accident Attorneys. If you are in an accident, make sure you hit up my people at Bader Scott. That is. Hey, the Love Doc Jock is on the way. Somebody needs some of that good relationship advice. And if you don't even need relationship advice and you just want some good, solid advice, feel free to hit me, 1-844-YUNGJOC. Again, that number is 1-844-986-4562. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take it's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. That is. You know what it is. The Love Doc Jock checking in. Dear Miss Shanika. Yes. Would you please read this entry that we have from one of our listeners today? Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Hey, Jock. It's... Melissa. Mm -hmm. So I moved to another part of our state three years ago into our relationship. My boyfriend broke up with me over the phone at the beginning of this month. Mm. After moping for the past few days, my mom said to me, like, honestly, do you want me to throw you a breakup party with strippers? (laughs) <laughs> Should I let my mom throw me oh. a stripper breakup party? Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. And enjoy yourself. See, the whole reason... They've been watching all the Queens men too much. All of this But see, this is what her mom want her to do. Her mom want to bring some a certain pedigree in front of you. She wants to get your mind off that man. She wants you to look at something that probably... He probably, you know, working out... Uh, in shape, you know the strippers be they be cut up and all that. She wants you to get you a a, a a dose of something new, sporadic and on the spot, and she feel like that's gonna take your mind off that dude that left you at the beginning of this month. Right. 
Because ain't no sense in moping no more. It's 30 days in, you know. What did they say? 30 days to form a new habit? That's what they say. That's what they say. So Sometimes 30 days they without them. 15. 30 days without them, you'll be okay. That's what you, that's what's basically happening. So your mama want to go on and do something to help you release that man back into the streets. That's right. We need that mama advice on some of these um, date dilemmas. Nah, for real. Mama <laughs> know what to do. Mama, see, she don't want to sit here and have me sitting around over this line wine. that ain't want to be with you. You feel me? Go to get you some well, of they this. They do that at old school. Don't do that. They be on to the next. On to the next. Do it like uh, Sierra Gates. I mean, oh, I, I didn't mean to say that. And that's Sierra? the love Doc Jock. If you got a small <laughs> business. <laughs> And you want to be spotlighted. Here's the perfect opportunity to do that. 1844. Why you in GJOC? That number is 1844-986-4562. Keep it locked where you got it. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's time for Small Business Spotlight. Giving back to the community. When Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Okay, my name is Senorita. I'm the owner of Cindy Sweets cleaning company and you can find me in savannah georgia but i'm actually a traveling cleaner you need to clean and i'm there what makes my business unique is ain't nobody gonna clean better than cindy cindy with two s's cindy sweets llc every morning i wake up with young jack in the streets morning takeover yes sir yes sir it is a beautiful wednesday man shout out to everybody uh celebrating a birthday today Shouts out to the Libras. It's Libra season, man. Big ups to everybody who pulled up on me last night. Boogaloo was crazy. Shouts out to my people in Chicago, too, man. I uh, appreciate that video, family, and the text. Yeah, that's love right there. I ain't got to say no names. No face, no cases. What they say, Miss Shanika. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounded got... dangerous. No, it ain't dangerous. It's just oh. one of those moments in life. You know what I mean? All right, then. You feel me? All right. What you doing today? Uh, I am out. Oh. Happy birthday to my girl, Tahira. We're going to be at breakfast at Barney's in the ATL. It's going to be my second time this week going. She's just there for the Killer Mike brunch, but we're celebrating my girl. 40 years. Oh, I can't believe you're turning 40. So it's going to be a wonderful day. I ain't really heard too many women put other women's age out there. That's oh, beautiful. And, yeah. And um, shout out to her because she owns um, The Cut Life. So I know a lot of ladies everywhere in our different cities know the cut life on instagram that's right so are you good yeah man i just want to send a shout out to my boys man jamal and elijah hugley and let my boys know i love them man i love you guys man. that's what's up, man. up and shout out to my basketball team so i love all y'all that's right and your daddy he a highlighter today um <laughs> boys but <laughs> we can see him real good hey all right man we're gonna keep it right here what we got <laughs> Catch y'all tomorrow. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.